Hello everyone, my name is Whistler, and welcome back to another episode of my Hardcore series. Um, you'll see that I now have a little over of a stack of golden blocks, and that is due to the fact that I have a, a zombie pigman farm now, which I'm very happy about. But today's episode, I would like to build a creeper farm, because that's another thing I desperately need. So I'm, I'm going to run out of rockets some point soon. I'm probably also going to have to light up the area around my base in order to concentrate spawns inside the creeper farm. But yeah, that's just something that's going to have to happen too. It's going to have to be a big caving session. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy that I now have a gold farm. It's going to come in handy for when I update to 1.16, whenever that may be. And it's good for XP too. And I can also just swap in some, uh, some wither roses for if I want to AFK instead. And I think I've flown a bit too far in one direction before getting back to my base, before turning round to my base. I'm not sure if I'll make it. Will I make it? I think I'll make it. Only just. I do like that I don't have to use rockets to get back. <laughs> I can just glide all the way back home. I think that's a very cool feature of my farm. So yeah, the creeper farm I'm going to have in the middle of this lake. Um, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to decorate it properly in this episode. I said I wanted to build a tree around it, but um, I'm just going to build the creeper farm in the middle of that lake there. And it's going to, I think I'm going to dig down a bit as well, sort of embed it in the earth a little bit. Um, I think that will turn out well. I, I don't know how big this is going to be, by the way. I'm probably going to move this beacon up to the surface as well. I know it can it, it can do its job just fine down here, but I'd rather it be out of the way. So I'm not sure if this is in the way of what I want, of where I want to build. That's what I mean. Here we'll do. I'll just finish off this beacon here, and I should probably start breeding these cats, shouldn't I? It's not much of a creep if I'm if I don't have cats. So uh, yeah. I think I'll just continue to do this throughout the episode, uh, throughout building the, the creeper farm itself, just so that I have the amount of cats that I need. Where, where did that where did that kitten go? I lost the kitten. Oh, there, there it is. Right, okay. Sit down, kitten. But yeah, I'll breed these up as time goes on. And I'm also going to need some magma blocks. So, <laughs> I, I, I don't think I have enough of them, so I'm going to have to go back to the nether. Hopefully this is going to be the last time before I update, but um, yeah, I need magma blocks. So I should probably make some uh, fire resistant potions as well, because I'm going to be down near the lava, aren't I? It's always good to stay safe. I should probably make some more. I've got some glass bottles, and uh... Oh, I need to fill them up, don't I? So just do that, there we go. And we'll get this started. Oh. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> I, was to, I was supposed to put nether wart in first. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just do that again, and I'll... Uh, there isn't a use for mo mundane potions, is there? So I'll just throw them away into my bin, my lava pit. <laughs> oh dear. And I think I'll also make an ammo box, so I don't have an infinity bow. I've gone for mending instead, because I can't be bothered fixing it. Um, so yeah, um, I'll just stock these into the into the shulker box, and that'll do. And I think it's time for me to go to the nether. Wish me luck. I'll be down near the lava, but I've got fire resistance potions, so that's all good. I hope, anyway. Now, I think... Wasn't there a villager that came in through here? I called him Hellboy one time. I've not seen him for a very long time. I don't really know what happened to him. I'm not sure if he's uh, perhaps burned alive or something like that. Burned to death? I don't know where he is. He was somewhere around here, but he, he could be anywhere now, I think. No idea. I expect I'll find him at some stage, <laughs> just randomly. Uh, that will be fun. Play a game of where's, where's Hellboy. But for now, I need magma blocks. I found some magma blocks. Here, here's a few. And, uh, oh, that's a small pocket. Oh well. And. Lava, please! What is that? Why, why aren't you flowing? What? Is that some cursed lava or what? <laughs> right. It's, it's just being this next to the, to the lava lake, the lava oceans, it's just really sort of putting me off, to be honest. I'm not. I, even though I've got fire resistance, I do not feel safe. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> oh dear. And I think that is enough magma blocks. I don't think I need any more than that. So I think it's time for me to head back home. And that was a successful trip. So I think it's time that we should probably get started into thinking about this uh, this creeper farm. So the, the creeper farm in question is going to be designed by... Well, it is designed by Logical Geek Boy. 
And because it's basically entirely his farm, I'm not going to tell you how to make it myself. Um, I'm instead, I'm going to direct you to his tutorial on it, because he's going to explain everything better than I ever would. So instead, I'm going to just time-lapse myself building the entire thing. And uh, I hope that turns out well. Um, I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Welcome back, everyone. I now have a creeper farm. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy about, but it's uh, it's turned out to be a lot bigger than I thought it would be. Um, I was planning to build a tree around this, and now I'm realizing that that tree is going to be really large. <laughs> I'm still going to do it. Don't worry about that. But I, I don't think I have the logs for it. <laughs> Even though I farmed a lot of them last episode, it's just sort of, oh dear, there's going to be a lot of logs. <laughs> And yeah, remember to check out Logical Geek Boy's tutorial on it if you want to know how it works and all of that sort of stuff. And he goes over it in a lot of detail. And now I also had a wandering trader turn up during that time lapse and he had Nautilus shells. So I bought those and I am now the proud owner of a conduit because of that. Although I can't actually do anything with it because uh, I don't have Prismarine, but I'm, I'm happy about that. That's another thing achieved, I guess. I've made a big ugly building. It won't stay like that, I promise. But, um, yeah, it, it is a very big, ugly stone building. Uh, I need to build a tree around it. I wonder how long that's going to take. Um, I have excess cats now, too. Yeah, I, I will definitely build a tree around this. I'll probably also build, like, an, a little island for it to be on. But, uh, yeah. Seeing it like this, though, I'm, I'm, that, that tree is going to be rather fat. Let's like, make it a lot taller. Uh, I'll think about it. But yeah, I should probably change this beacon to resistance and regeneration because I'm going to need to light up a lot of caves because at the moment, this farm doesn't work very fast. <laughs> but yeah, here's all the redstone. Um, it unloads the minecart when it's full and shoots it into a bunch of chests. And yeah, that, that's how that works. And as you can see, I've jammed this full of stuff um, just from when I was building it. So I'll have to take those out because this minecart hopper will only work, it will only unload if it's full. So I've got to take these out because uh, it's not going to fill up with those, it's going to fill up with gunpowder. And if I don't have it full of gunpowder, then I'm going to be wasting a lot of gunpowder. <laughs> Speaking of gunpowder, before I... I'm running out of rockets. 
<laughs> so uh, this is going to be the last time I manually farm gunpowder, I guess. Uh, I'm going to have to kill these creepers and hope for that last little extra bit. There we go. That's going to keep me going until the farm has given me enough for, for the rest of my life on this on this world. And I should probably check the crops for this building. The wheat farm is empty, as is usual. I think it might start working in 1.16. There's a few changes with uh, farmer villages. Um, beetroots. I've got beetroots. Hello, guys. That is a lot of potatoes. <laughs> I should probably have uh, taken those out. And uh, I'm still getting a lot of honeycomb. A lot of honey blocks, too. That's always good to know. Can add that to the stash of the, all the honeycomb I've gotten so far from this thing. It is a lot. I'll just make sure to turn these into honey blocks too. And I'll refill the uh, the dispenser. I'll just put those in there. That's all the honey blocks I have so far. It's a good amount, I think. I could probably make a few machines with that if I wanted to. And I should probably put these potatoes into a shulker. And I'll take them down to my villager set up um, underground at some stage and trade them in. For those nice and tasty emeralds. And... Oh! Please don't chase me, phantoms. Can I get down before they uh, hit me again? Oh, oh! Ha <laughs> ha! Take that, phantom. Snatched! Can't get me! Is, uh... Is he coming all the way down? <laughs> he might be stuck. Is he gonna... He's, he's gonna come down, isn't he? Wow. Wow, he's come all the way down! <laughs> right out of his, uh... Natural habitat, that's for sure. Um, what should I do with this guy? This, uh, this ghastly being. Um, well, he can't hit me, that's for sure, if I do this. Just run him around in a loop. <laughs> um, yeah, what should I do with this guy? You know what? He's boring. He's just gonna be annoying. Goodbye, Phantom. <laughs> I'm just shocked I managed to lead him down here without even meaning to. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it's time for me to light up my caves. So, I've gotten a stack of logs, I've got some coal, nothing can spawn in here. Just need to make sure my caves are nice and lit. There are two ravines under my base that I'm aware of. I just want to make sure that this cave is in fact all above light level 8. This block looks dark. That's 7. Okay, I'll light that. Uh, right. It's okay, I've got a good tactic for lighting up ravines, it's just, uh, it always feels so dangerous going into them. Uh, I do think my tactic of lighting up ravines is very safe. Like, I do it in such a way that I don't have creepers dropping on me. Like that one there. <laughs> if I was lighting up this ravine from below, he would have dropped on me and killed me. So, here's a cave. I'll probably have to light that up. Probably do that before I finish this ravine. Uh, I don't want things coming back, Some coming from behind me. Yeah, my strat is to just mine two blocks into the side, all the way around the thing, and ring around the ravine, and light it up as I go. Here's a lot of noises. <laughs> but I think everything's okay from this end. And is it lighting up time? I think it's lighting up time. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of zombies over here, so I just want to mine towards it. Hello! I, I want to mine towards them. Well, I've, I've done that now. And just light it up, so I know, that, I know that there's a cave here, if it doesn't link around somewhere else. And, uh, I guess I'll kill these now, I guess. Uh, I don't like it when it splits off into multiple, di multiple directions like this. If I go down there, I, I just feel like if I go down one way, I've got three other ways for zombies to... Well, for creepers and zombies and stuff to corner me in. But I think I'm good if I do this first. This way first. Hello, creeper. I should probably put a chest plate on, shouldn't I? <laughs> that's uh, that's gonna be what keeps me alive during this uh, this lighting expedition, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I shouldn't neglect that. I should not. Hey, dudes, how's the water party? Is it good? And back to the ravine, cause that cave is done. Got a bit left to do in this first ring, but we're getting there. Oh, this is obsidian. Have I been here before? Where am I? I don't, I don't remember being here. I'm sure I'll find out as soon as I go down, I'll remember. But um, I'll just let the lava drain first. And uh, then we'll cross over. Oh! This is my beacon mine! 
Oh, I wondered where this cave went. Ah. This is just under the lake, and... Oh. I'm sorry, slime. You've gotta go. And unfortunately, this brings another thing into my mind. If I light up caves and this underground area, I'm not only gonna get creepers, I'm gonna get slimes. What am I gonna do about those? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I was hoping to just cram the mob cap with creepers, but I'm gonna get random slimes down here too. I'll have to mob spawn that area somehow, find out where the slime chunks are. And I'm gonna have to dispose of some of my, some of my resources every now and then. So yeah, just gonna do that periodically. Probably smell these ores too. I'm getting a lot of iron from this. It's very good news. Not sure how much I'll have after I'm done, but it's gonna be a lot. And I've done most of the surroundings of this ravine, so it's just the floor left. Uh, let's see how this goes. Nothing should be able to drop on me. I'm fairly certain it won't. But yeah, there is a bit of a mob party down here. <laughs> Hello everyone. How are you doing? Is everyone fine? How's the shower zombie at the front? Is it, is it good? Getting you nice and wet? Your friends are having a bad time. You should let them have a shower. <laughs> How did he get up here? I thought the, the stream wouldn't let him. <laughs> uh, and I've got the subtitles up at the moment because um, it helps me uh, find caves not linked physically to uh, the ravine and caves that I'm already in. So if I hear a zombie or something that sounds nearby, but not in the cave I'm in, I could just dig straight there. And um, just need to check out this cave, what's in here? Oh! This is, uh, that, that's the second ravine, I think. That's the other ravine underneath my base that I need to take care of. Ugh. Hi, Creeper. And this should be the ravine basically done. It's just the the second one's left to do now. That's good news. So if I if I do the, if I light up the ravines first, then that means I'm less likely to come across an issue when I uh, when I come down here. So if if I had um if I had a, if I had lit up every cave underneath my base first, then these ravines would have been an absolute mob fest, and I might have been knocked into the center by uh, by skeletons or something. But now that's not the case because I've already done the ravines. Aha! Take that, mobs. Yeah, let's just get this uh, this second one done. Hi, Skelly. <laughs> Can I hit him down? Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> this is partially lit up. Where is this? I've been here before, a little, it appears. Don't think there's anything else around here. I feel like I can hear things. I'm not sure if they're next to me or not, though. It's not good. I hear a minecart. Is this... Am I next to the creeper farm? Possibly. I think I might be. I might light up this cave. Oh! No! Oof. That's why you have a shield, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, that's the second one. <laughs> that is very much why you have a shield running around caves in hardcore. <laughs> Yeah, I think the fact that I could hear a minecart earlier just then, I think it means that I'm next to my creeper farm. Let's see if that's the case. Oh yeah, that's definitely the case, because I walled in this this part of the cave. And uh, there should be a little exit here that I made. That's that's the lake above me. Okay, I know where I am. All is well. Hi, creeper. It's going to come through that stream. It's a little bit terrifying, you know. Uh, well, you've got to go. Can't have you be that close. Not at all. Oh, I think this is the zombie spawner. Yeah, I've been here. This is where the zombie spawner I found last time is, in this uh, this second ravine. That's good to know. And I've just got the bottom of this ravine to do now, and I think that's the last ravine I have to do. Or I hope it is anyway. I've lit up three around my base now. I don't want there to be a fourth. And I've still not got any gunpowder. Is there a reason for that? Oh dear. Oh no, the fact that that minecart is full and hasn't been dropping stuff means that this is broken. Yeah, I'm gonna need to work out how to fix this somehow. And I think we're done. Um, it turns out that one of the rails is directional. So uh, <laughs> Logical Geek Boy has, a, has another video on that, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't see it when I first made this farm. So I've had to, well, th there was a fix that I could do, but I was just making a mess of things. So I decided to just tear everything down and redo, redo the whole thing. 
um, and now it works. I now have a working, a working creeper farm. That's that's good stuff. Oh, you're not meant to be here. Oh no. Well, I, I'm gaining gunpowder, but it's not supposed to be spiders. Why are you in here? Jeez. Um, that means that I've not placed enough carpet down in the farm itself. I must have missed a few spots. So I'm going to have to do what no sane man will ever do in hardcore, and that is willingly enter the creeper farm. Oh, jeez. Right. I've got these little glass tubes in the corners, so, so I am somewhat protected. Hi, spider. Uh, I don't think I've missed any carpets on this floor, this level. I think that's good news. Uh, my, my issues must be higher up then. So I'll just break this block and uh, we'll head up. Well, that's another issue entirely. Why did I leave those in? Why the, why? I'm not supposed to leave torches in here. <laughs> oh dear. I'll, 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 I'll have to fix those too. Uh, right, okay. Get in, quickly. Oh, the creeper's dropping me. I've not seen any just yet. Perhaps I haven't opened the mob cap up, up enough. Let's fill those back in. Right, I'm safe again. No creeper can see me. But I think the carpets are okay in this floor too. And I think I found my issue. I'm missing the carpets on two corners of this level. And that is allowing spiders to spawn. So, I've got my carpet. Got my red wool if I run out. So... It's time I get in. I'll kill these spiders first, in case they annoy me. And, uh, let's put the carpets down. It's real quick. I think I'm high enough that creepers won't drop on me, because I, I don't think they'll spawn above me. But, uh, yeah, I just feel dangerous all the same. Especially when I have to craft more. <laughs> right. I've done. I think, I think I can get out. Oof. How many people have you seen willingly enter their creeper farm on hardcore? <laughs> right, we're done. I can I can leave the creeper farm. It's 100% uh, fixed, I think. So I should just be earning things now. That's good to know. This system should work now. But I'll, I'll just stop the, the minecart first. and uh, Because there might be string or something inside, so I'll just take that out. Yeah, see? And glass too. Gunpowder, gunpowder can go back in. We'll send the minecart back on its way again. And now for some more caves. I've got some uh, caves I haven't been in over here. I found them when I was chopping down the trees last time. So, uh, yeah. I've got my chest plate on now. There was one here. I'd already lit that up ages ago. But there is a hole here. And that is a new cave. So I just need to go in and uh, we'll light up the area. Hopefully it's not too dangerous. Not hearing too many mobs. Just jump in real quick, get this end done. There's no, no pitter-patter of feet. Hello, skellies. Oh! Yes! Yes, feel free to kill each other. <laughs> oh. Oh! From one jewel to another! <laughs> uh, well done, skelly. You won. Congrats. And that's the end of that cave, so I should probably move on to the next one. This is another one I found on the... The island I was growing spruce and dark oak trees. Hello, Skelly. How you doing? Oh, I don't like it when I, these curves all sort of split off into various places, various directions. Just makes it feel like I'm in danger constantly. I'm constantly checking the creepers around me. Like, I'm constantly looking behind myself sort of as I'm fighting. So I need to know exactly what is around me. Oh, I don't like this one because it's sort of blind spots everywhere, but I've got to go in. Oh dear. I mean, I should be fine. I'm, I'm in full diamond. I've got I've even got my chest plate on. Hi, creeper. Wait, right, don't blow up. Oh. Oh. Sorry, everyone. I've had a bit of an incident. <laughs> don't wash my torches away. No. Oh. No. I've got to place these down again. Hi, creeper. How you doing? Um. Oh, there's another creeper. <laughs> I've got an, uh... They were going for a pincer attack. I'm glad I turned around. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, where did the other one go? Hello. You can't sneak up on me. It's not happening. Oh, more creepers. Oh, I missed that. <laughs> I spy diamonds. 
shiny blue rocks. So I've got a water bucket for that. Just uh, turn all that into obsidian. So I don't want to be near it. See how many I've got. I think that's six. Okay, well, that's a good amount. I'm happy with that. Very happy indeed. It's the only diamonds I've found so far. I'm a bit surprised about that. Oh, there's a skeleton and a creeper. Um, if I could. Oh! That's a music disc. What, which one is that? I'm not quite sure which one that is. Um, so they're all colour coded, aren't they? Let's light this up really quick first. Um, it's green. So, um, what can I get rid of? Don't need flesh. Don't need gunpowder. Cat! Oh, okay, that's very cool. I'm glad I've got that. <laughs> um, I'll have to play that at the end of the episode, I think. Um, yeah, I, I, I like this music disc. I like it a lot. Ugh. Why is these the random holes above caves? I don't like them being there. It just feels really dangerous. It's like a creeper can fall through that one spot. Um, this is a weird bit of generation. It's all gravel. Go away, Skelly. I there wasn't a creeper on the other side of this. Um, but yeah, we'll just light this up real quick. Ah, uh, I'm hearing a lot of noises. I'm definitely feeling like mob spawns are condensing a little bit. I feel like I'm facing more of them. And, uh, oh, no, 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 no! Oof. That's why you use a shield. Always have a shield. Oh, that was very close. <laughs> oh, I'm not used to, like, I've got a shield in my offhand, but I'm not used to using it properly, so I'm very glad that I'm, I've got the reflex to bring it up in time for times like that. Oh, that was close. This is just a very sketchy corridor in general. Why are there all these holes above? I didn't see that one. Ugh. Oh. Right. We'll light up this one. First. Oh, hello creeper. <laughs> no. No. Not being anywhere near me. Why is there a skeleton here? I could have sworn I've lit up these caves. What? Where are you spawning? But... These guys are definitely condensing. I definitely feel like uh, they're spawning a lot more often. And <laughs> although these guys might well be just be uh, social spawning, but I feel way too common. Just like all the mobs in general. There's a creeper, for example. Um, he's gone. I can't shoot him. Ugh. Right. Where's that staircase I built? Should be here. It is. <laughs> There's the creeper. Right, nothing behind me. Um, and there's a zombie. There's another zombie. Oh, these, they must have... So no! There's more skeletons. Maybe they aren't social spawning. It's just generally condensed mob spawns. But I don't know where they, they've come from. So I li I've lit up these caves. Perhaps I missed a spot somewhere. Oh, there's another skeleton. <laughs> oh, it's the, uh, the cave I... Uh, the creeper dropped on me from, I think. I haven't lit that area yet, I don't think. I'll just kill this one first. This skelly. Goodbye, sir. Hello, creeper. You're not dropping on me again. Not today. Um, I think I think we're safe. I'll just mine the iron there. I've gotten a lot of iron from this trip. Lighting up all these caves. But, um, yeah, I'm getting a lot of spawns. I almost feel like, this is like bordering on like, there's a spawn in nearby territory, but I know there isn't. Or at least I don't think there is, anyway. But, um, yeah, there's a lot of skeletons and just mobs in general. I definitely feel like I'm facing more danger than I was when I first started lighting up the area. There's definitely a lot more mobs. Just trying to make a path, and these skeletons aren't even letting me. There's too many of them. <laughs> oh dear. Right, can I get up yet? Is that? Oh, hello, creeper. I can't. They're not letting me up the staircase. <laughs> they will not let me light up that cave. Jeez. Okay. 
Let's let's just run up. Right, okay, we're in. So, so many mobs. Hi, sirs. Just want to make sure I've lit up this end too. Yeah, that's good. So I didn't want anything coming behind me. I don't think they can reach. I think the cave descends, doesn't it? And I think we're mostly done. I don't think uh, I don't think I've got any other caves. Well, I think there probably is probably some caves. But I found my way out from the incident. That's what I've been calling that that landmark. Uh, yeah, I think hopefully my creeper farm should be a lot more productive when I'm around my base. So I'm very happy about that. And uh, is that a wolf in the middle of this lake? Yes, it is. <laughs> Hello, doggo. Um, you look rather wet. So you know what? I think I'll tame you. Yep. Yeah. I've uh, I've got bones, so I'll just get those out. Be mine. Oh, the first bone. Oh, that's cute. Uh, come with me, doggo. Um, and we'll get you some place that's not in the middle of a lake. Oh, I just had a scary thought. Perhaps I led him into the... Did he teleport inside the creeper farm? Please tell me he didn't teleport inside the creeper farm. Uh, can he... Will he teleport out? Oh, he's not teleporting out. Oh, dear. Oh, doggo, why? <laughs> Where is it? Well, it's good to see the creepers actually dying in here, though. That, that means that, um... The farm is as productive as I hoped it would be. But yeah, I've got to... I've got to get this doggo out. <laughs> Luckily, um... He's teleported onto these glass blocks, these glass tubes on the side, rather than inside the thing itself, so that's very lucky. And, uh... Let, let's bring him over to here. Far away from there. Where is he? There he is. Sit down. Are you trying to get yourself killed for? First I find you trying to drown yourself, and then I find you trying to get yourself blown up by creepers. It's not good. That's not a good way to live, doggo. But, uh, yeah. He survived. Welcome to the dog family, doggo. And, uh, yeah, I think it's time that I play this music disc, because I think I've done everything I want to do in this episode. There's probably a couple of caves left that I need to light up, but I don't know where they are. So, yeah, I'll just play Cat, because uh, this is tradition now, I think. Let's play the music discs I get when I get them. I do like cats. Sort of makes you think of simpler times, doesn't it? But yeah, we've gotten a lot done this episode. Built a creeper, we've built a creeper farm. We've lit up a large amount of caves. I've gotten a lot of iron too. Um, so yeah, I should be able to make a lot of rockets. A lot of TNT. That's what I wanted the gunpowder for. It's like I want to, I want to blow up some stuff at some stage. But it's good to have a uh, just to light up a perimeter underneath my base. It's good to just have that done. So next time, I think I'll probably get a start on building the tree around the creeper farm. I don't think I'll be able to finish it. Because it does, it does now feel like a very big project. I don't think I realised how big it would be. <laughs> um, just seeing the creeper farm in the middle of the lake there, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be. But I think I can, uh, I can deal with it. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, I hope you return. If you do return, I guess I'll see you next time. So on that note... Bye. Thank you for watching.